Wie lautet Ihr Befehl? Welcome back commanders to another unit review. Today, we are going to review on one of the best infiltration units of the Osphere. The Falschimjajas. No, not that one. I mean this one. Actually, Falsham Jidges and Falsham Troopers are still the same, though there's no such thing as Falsham Troopers. Falsham Jidges are the paratroopers of the German army, and are considered as elite infantry, designed to infiltrate enemy territory from the air. Unlike American paratroopers, they are equipped only with sidearms when paratrooping in the air, while their primary armament is separately stored on canisters, mostly with extra ammunition. This is a downside for these paratroopers as these canisters might get lost when dropped, which will reduce their survivability once on ground. And now, let's focus on the review shall we? The first thing we are going to look at is its primary armament. It has equipped the FG-42 automatic rifle, a paratrooper's weapon of choice unlike the Americans had. At level 10, its damage to infantry is 28, not that huge, but it can deal enough damage to it. Damage to tanks is 5, since it is a tank with armor not even small caliber bullets can penetrate. The same is with vehicles, damage is 12 so not alert as with tanks. Damage to buildings is 9, so you won't expect alert when they are still alive. Attack speed for the FG-43 is 0.2 seconds. That's fast for an automatic rifle. Range is an advantage for this thing, 8. Compared to other rifles, this thing is king in range of automatic rifles. These Falchion troopers are dead meat if they encounter vehicles or tanks without anti-tank weapons, and so they are given the Panzerfaust. This thing isn't that effective on the front of the tank, but does well on penetrating the sides and the rear. At level 10, its damage to tanks is 1460, not that bad, but surely it will pack a punch. Damage to vehicles is 1415, and lastly to buildings, is 578 which is not that alert, but it would be enough to scratch a building's hit points. Reload speed is 4.5 seconds so keep in mind, that a tank shoots faster than this weapon, and might kill them faster. Range is 11, pretty balanced for a weapon, that can damage tanks more than it can do to buildings. And now, for its hit points. It has a total of 780 hit points, a little bit tanky, but at the same time, easy to take down by small groups of infantry piled up together. Unit count is 3, which means that they will pack a punch, if focused on one enemy at a time. Its speed is slow, so it can keep up, and support with tanks at the same time. It is a rare unit, and since it is a paratrooper, it can be deployed at any point on the map. And lastly for the day. I think the assault tactics is better with these Falchion troopers as passive effects for them include a plus 20% increase in hit points, and they are given the STG-44, a highly powerful assault rifle used by infantry who are deserved to be elite. This gives them a fighting chance against any enemy infantry threat and they might even take them down by themselves. Active skills include tactical bombing for aerial support and of course, threatening flight to confuse enemy units and your units will take them out without a threat on them fighting back. Advice. Use them as frontline units for your tanks as they serve as a distraction for incoming enemy tank destroyers that are aiming to destroy your tanks. That's it for today's unit review. As always, I will see you next time, Commanders. Like, comment, and subscribe to the video.